one of the solid foundations of this football team. But there, a tackle for the loss, brought down by Antoine Owens. Owens is a grad transfer from Georgia Tech, one of many, bringing them back five yards. And why is Jackson State so good on defense? It's them dudes. The, the front four along with the two. Pickett remains in the backfield. Sanders taking another shot. There's Keith Corbin, and Corbin is able to come down with the catch. Keith Corbin. Control. I mean, this ball's in the air for a long time, all the way across the field, but Corbin uses his body, sees it, recognizes it, and makes this difficult catch look relatively easy against the man-to-man -man coverage of Jacoby Papillon. He has a number of different weapons, a loaded team for sure. Shador Sanders going across, and it's intercepted. Southern with the interception. That's Glenn Brown, and Glenn Brown is pushed out. And wow, just like that, you erase the touchdown off the board, and Southern gets the ball. Ball thrown a little bit high, surprising. The receiver wasn't able to come down with that. That's Weidman, Malachi Weidman. Just a lucky break for Southern University. Weidman not able to hold on to it, and nice reaction by Glenn Brown, particularly getting some yards after the interception. Great concentration. And one of the rare, rare miscues, but you go back to this right here, that Keith Corbin touched down. Yeah, I'm agree with him a little bit. <laughs> if they don't pick up a first down, what you've been doing hasn't been working. Skelton feeling the pressure from Houston, pushing off and getting the reception near midfield. What concentration and for Marquise McLean to make the adjustment to come back and get it. Again, 203 yards on the ground per game. Ladarius Skelton again escaping, escaping, but no escaping. Devontae Davis. They picked up that first down easily. Howard in motion. They hand it off to Gerard Sims right up the middle. Barely touched it. Touchdown, Southern. Home, another look at the touchdown run. And I think what it is with Daniel coming to the game, the threat of the pass is more there. So they got caught trying to play scheme, and they just found a crease. Sims did a good job of holding on to the football, but the offensive line did a great job. The center, Dallas Black, and Jonathan Bishop. Great speed with Warren Newman. Looking, 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 and the pass complete, and the hit stick delivered by Tamaris Smith. There's Jordan Lewis, and Jordan Lewis gets another sack. We talked about the career active sacks leader in the FCS, and there Jordan Lewis registers his fifth of the season. This is a missed assignment. I believe the running back is supposed to check him. See, that was a weak job by J.D. Martin in the backfield. For Shador Sanders, again, looking for Trevante Rucker. Rucker with great ball control to come back, body control to get that one and flex an afternoon. Do it back shoulder and allow your receivers to show off their athleticism. And hold here on first and goal, trying to keep Tigers off the board. Peyton Pickett in the backfield. They hand it off and easily gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson State. Tigers capped off by this quick run in. Yeah, great change of direction. That play was designed to go to the right side of the offensive line. Keep him in the backfield. Play action. Got McDaniel him. has a man wide open. That's Gregory Perkins for the touchdown. Another score for Southern, and the fireworks go off here. And changing the strategy back to back 32 yard plays. This one is good to Gregory Perkins for the score. Southern up. McDaniel tries to Look step out. up, and there's James Houston. Houston is able to bring him down. Nowhere to go brings up fourth down. Make defenders miss. You see showing blitz. blitz, and that was Easterling to get the first contact, and then Tyron Nash oh, was there as well. The hold on first down. Only allowed 22 yards on the ground tonight.
They say beat us through the Austin. air and right into the hands of a Jaguar defender. Second interception thrown by Shadour Sanders. That's Jacoby Jones who comes up with the cookies. He's coming back to him and that ball's guarded underneath as well as over the top. Easy interception. You'll see the route combination come as he tries to settle in here. But this guy never leaves, keeps his eyes in the backfield. And this is why you end up with him, giving him time to work open. But when he works open, that. Oh, it's so interesting. It's the first time we've really seen Shadur Sanders look human back there. We came in talking about how good he was. And look about Glendon McDaniel and Ethan Howard. That connection has been really good tonight. This one from 36 yards. The kick is up, and it's good. Points on the board for the Southern Jaguars. Connell Maynard and the Alabama a and Bulldogs were able to come back. The defense is playing on another level right now. Tyron Nash is making Coach Prime shake his head. Came in talking about the Jackson State defense and how great they are. But it's been Southern who's been keeping close watch, but Shadour Sanders with plenty of real estate. Sanders finally sliding inside the 40. He determines when to run, when to throw. Okay, want to take off? Let me just go ahead and pick up the yards needed, and then some, showing the athleticism in the jet. Pressure, pressure, Got coming. It. Got Shadour Sanders. Usually he's upright, but Latrell Johnson saying you're going down. Right up the middle, splits the double team. They release him too quickly. They were trying to set up a little screen. Sanders, so sure of it, and he goes to Malachi <laughs> Weidman for the touchdown. He threw that one with assurance to Weidman. Doesn't even see the ball coming. You'll see number 20 coming to your screen. He does not even see the ball in the air. He turns around to look. How did it get here? Four minutes plus to go in this ball game. Shadour Sanders dropping back. Tyron Nash in his face, and it takes him down. The sack from Tyron Nash. He's been a different maker. This is just pursuit. Four-man rush, pockets there, but he gets around the edge. For the Tigers. Feeling the pressure once more. Shador Sanders able to get it away to Keith Corbin. The pass is complete, and what a catch by Keith Corbin. Such situations, long developing play. You'll see Corbin come all the way across the formation, gets to the second level. Good job tiptoeing, getting the foot down. Get four opportunities at this with a vaunted pass and attack. Ball at midfield. Sanders tracking back, tracking back. Look throws out. Throws it away. Man fell down. Touchdown, Malachi Wyman as he looks at the defender into the end zone. Throw it up to your six foot five inch wide receiver. Look at this. He knows Lyman's got a beat on him, but steps up, give him a chance. Plenty of contact. Tamar Smith tried to bring him down. Three points won't do. Got to get a touchdown and a tough open field tackle made by Keontae Hampton. Pipe it up, third down. Silent leader, this reads his keys, recognizes the screen, gets underneath leverage of the guard, Brian Williams. McDaniel with no time, nowhere to go. James Houston continuing to wrestle him down. Too much one-on-one -on -one blocking. Can't block him one-on-one. -on -one. Jeremiah Stafford, number 77, trying to go against one of the most disruptive playmakers in FCS football. Here it is again, McDaniel going deep and it's intercepted. That's gonna be ball game. Shiloh Sanders on the return and Jackson State has broken the streak. I thought a little bit early to go for the shot to the end zone. Complete the pass and you can maybe keep possession of the football, keep the drive alive, get a little bit closer. But in this case here, Shiloh Sanders, how ironic. 
How about that? Proud Dion moment. As a father, you watch your son. It paid off in a major way. First time that they've won the East Division since 2013. The Hall of Famers have to be proud. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.